Alright, today's a big day. We're going to be doing a big mod on the Jeep. So we've got a whole new bumper and stinger and D-rings here. Uh, so we got the Rough Country stubby front bumper with winch plate, uh, D-ring mounts, and the stinger right here. And then these are extra parts that came with it. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we got to remove the sway bar cover. And that's two uh, 3 8 bolts on either side. Came off pretty easily. One of my bolts did snap off. The head snapped off, but I'm not really going to worry about it. Um, so next thing is we got to remove these right here by the tow hooks. These are T55 Torx uh, bolts. Also, I'd recommend uh, lubricating everything before you start any of this with some penetrating oil because it's probably going to be pretty tight. Yeah, two more of these T55 Torx bits pretty much right underneath where we were just working. We've got the bumper off. We got to remove two more bolts on each side. These are 15 millimeters holding down the sway bar right here. So it turns out you only actually have to remove the front ones on these, not the rear ones. Um, so now before we put on the winch plate, it says to install the winch first. So uh, for mine, I have these four bolts and washers and they come in from the bottom. And I had to unspool the winch a little bit first to get the, the uh, hook out of the way and I'm just going to mount it these four bolts. Once you've got these 5 8 bolts thinned down we're going to emplace some washers. So as you can see um, the kit came with three different sizes of washers. Four of each of these kind and two of these. So these two the smallest ones are going to go on these and then you're going to use these medium sized ones to cover the holes right here on either side. And then we're going to put the winch plate on top of the washers. Now in the process of alignment, we're going to superimpose the bumper brackets just like this. So you just line them up. Oops. Just line them up like that on both sides. I made a mistake before by putting this smallest washer underneath. It's supposed to go there. And so now, um, so back to having, oops wrong again. So we have this overlaid and now what we're going to do is hand tighten in these bolts. So that little washer is going to go there and now we're going to use these big washers and all of these you know bronze colored bolts. So the four big ones are each going to take a big washer and go here and here and these two smaller ones are going to go in there. Now before we tighten all these down, remember we only have them hand tight, we need to make sure that there are four holes here that line up. So I put this bumper on backwards and I'm just going to put bolts through all the holes just to hold it in place and then we're going to tighten all these down. Bolts are three quarters. This is a 15 millimeter and luckily you don't need to use a wrench for these back two. You can uh, put a socket extension through these holes and the socket underneath and that makes it a lot easier. Fortunately with this Quadratech 11500i winch with this big integrated solenoid on the left, my bumper won't line up. It's a shame, right there. So, I'm going to have to drill new winch mounting holes. I'm going to drill them about an inch to the right. So I'm going to get four new holes like that. Oh, my my uh, bits kept breaking trying to drill through this. I'm going to need to get some hard bits. So in the meantime, I'm just putting everything on. So you've got the bumper and then you mount the stinger and then the D-ring mounts. Um, so these are 5 16 hex bits. So are these. You're going to need a three-quarter wrench to put, um, you're putting these nuts on the bottom of these. There are already nut certs on these four, but for these two on either side, you're going to need a wrench to hold the nut in place while you tighten down. So I've got the fair lead installed. There are two types of fair lead. There's a roller fair lead and this one is called a house, H-A-W-S-E fair lead. It depends on the type of winch you get, which one you want to get. But then you accordingly want to buy, if you are, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, uh, either house fair lead flip up or roller fair lead flip up license plate cover. And so I've got mine right here. And so I'm pretty much ready for finally getting these holes drilled. A lot of struggling. I finally got the new holes drilled. Um, you might want to use some oil or some lubricant on your bit and I had to get a titanium bit to go through it. The uh, regular black oxide, they don't really work. They just kept breaking off. So uh, also I spray painted it black 
where I um, drilled through to prevent rust and now I'm gonna finally mount the winch. Alright, so you lead in the fair lead through here, attach it with this uh, tiny hex bit. I'm not really sure what size. Then we attach the negative wire, we got the positive wire already. Run it up, you can run it right down there over to the battery. We're just going to attach obviously positive, positive, negative, negative, and then we're going to spool in the line, and then it'll be all installed, and all we'll have to do is pre-tension it. Oh, and one other thing, I did have to cut this piece to put it back in, this little trim here. It's uh, quite annoying, but a uh, Dremel is pretty useful. And you basically cut a line like right under the Jeep letters, a straight line almost, and then leave the little circle where the screw would go in and then it'll go in. It's a pain though. Plug in the controller and now we're ready to just spool in the winch line. So Now we're finally done. So two last things is one, I would measure before and after you do this whole thing, measure the height. I guess from here would be your best bet to see if adding all this extra weight of the bumper and the winch on the front causes a droop, and if so, maybe put in a coil spacer. And also, if this drains your battery pretty fast, you might want to think about getting a new, better alternator. But uh, yeah, finally done, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it.